Welcome again to this presentation class. We have been blessed to have this series in identifying those plants that are around us and God has given unto us that uh, if we use alongside the natural remedies and uh, other laws of health, we are able to achieve a good health as well as being able to carry on the gospel to the whole world. Remember in Malachi chapter 4 verses 2, uh, there is a sun of righteousness that is rising from the east with healing in its wings. And this healing is the gospel of peace, the restoration of the principles of life uh, that God had put in the beginning and uh, in the in the new earth to come so we have to be a people who are propagating and agitating and educating the people to make sure that they know that there is a time that is come it is an evil time because men are seeking to uh, to act mischievously against the people who are innocent and are ignorant of the trouble that is coming upon the world. Again in Psalms chapter 67 verses 2, the Bible says that that his saving health may be known amongst all the nations. That saving health is basically what was there in the Genesis chapter 1 and chapter 2 before sin. And uh, God give, uh, has given us the word of restoration and reconciliation to make sure that we understand this principle and save many people that have been trapped in the system of this world. Now today, we have wonderful hub that is growing almost everywhere. If it is not in your place, it is because you have not researched and have not uh, had a desire to look for it. It is called the insulin plant. And in the botanical name, it is, uh, it is called Chamaeocostus cuspidatus. And this how is known for as a nature glucophage. Now, if you know about glucophage, it is a drug in the store that is used for, uh, that is used for uh, reversing the high glycosis process or high blood pressure by lowering your blood sugars it inhibits the uh, the process of uh, insulin production within the uh, within the pancreas and uh, sometimes it causes a problem to the uh, to the pancreas pancreatic beta cells but what does this herb use for it is specifically for boosting sugar and lowering sugar that is very high. It is called the insulin plant. It is a, it is sour in taste and, and very soft. It has soft stalks and we use the leaves for the treatment either as tea or as a juice and as a, uh, as a, as a powder when dried. It is found majorly in India, but in many countries, if you ask about it and research about it, you can get it. Nature glucophage. In 2016, there's a study that researchers found the consumption of insulin plant leaves help prevent cons uh, pros uh, prosprandial blood sugar spikes in those with diabetes. This study shows that a consumption of insulin plant leaves is effective, uh, is effective for most people in bringing down blood sugar levels when used in conjunction with other modalities of diabetes treatment, such as constant exercise, drinking a lot of water, taking a lot of dark green leafy vegetables, and eating fruits, and uh, also supportive uh, remedial agencies, herbs like cinnamon, like um, licorice root, golden seal, stinging nettle, cloves, clove powder, and dandelion, um, and also 
uh, using plantain? Well, it also found that uh, that among participants who are insulin dependent after eating the insulin plant leaves for only 15 days of the study, their insulin needs decreased by half. This was seen in every person who was insulin dependent in the study. So insulin plants have the properties like antioxidant property, antimicrobial property, anti-cancer property, and the anodine properties. What you need to know is how to extract it that it becomes so powerful. Our failure has been to come up with the procedures of extracting and concentrating it so that it works very fast as the, uh, uh, the over-the-counter the, over drugs. It has antioxidant property. A study proved that the oral administration of ethanolic extract of the insulin plant rhizome at 200 milligrams per kilo uh, body weight given to the diabetic rat for 30 days has shown notable results for the antioxidant properties. The bioactive compounds, that is diosigenin and uh, quercetin are antioxidants which is good to treat oxidative stress in the pancreas, liver and kidney. It has shown better results in diabetic rats and uh, uh, some of the experiences that so there is uh, using the this red cedar leaves and uh, seeds and also cypress leaves and seeds for uh, reducing that stress of the pancreas and uh, using ginseng and uh, uh, and golden seal licorice root have also proven to be helpful in reducing and repairing the pancreas. So most of the times we talk about high blood sugar levels, but what do we do with the low blood sugar levels, which some people suffer from? What do you do? The problem is still with the pancreas. And uh, if you know how to restructure and uh, make the cells of the pancreas to regenerate again, which takes about 30 days, by using, uh, increasing the circulation of blood to the pancreas by doing fermentation, hot and cold fermentation, doing the poulticing in those areas or applying a liniment made from some of the highly effective circulatory herbs like mustard, the cloves, the cayenne pepper, the ginger, uh, the, uh, the, the, the pancreas is able to restore itself. Well, so for low blood sugar levels, which is so dangerous because someone may not die very fast out of high blood sugar levels, but low blood sugar levels is very, very serious. You need not to allow a patient, even who is having diabetes type 1, to go to bed with a low sugar uh, reading, uh, low sugar levels of about 3 units or 4. You need to boost it up by giving honey or giving licorice root tea or, uh, or giving glucose or giving um, marble syrup or maybe making fruit juices that are going to boost that glycemic index. Um, moreover, it stimulates glycotic enzymes, that is the insulin plants, and controls gluconeogenesis in diabetic rats. Gluconeogenesis is the process by which your pancreas uh, develops cells that are able to convert, uh, convert sugar and also produce a lot of beta cells that are able to control your sugar levels. It is anti it has my antimicrobial properties where the methylonic extract from this plant was used and tested against the, uh, the bacteria that, uh, that, um, uh, that are causing pneumonia, that are causing uh, amoebiosis or typhoid or brucellosis, and it works positively. And... Uh, Another thing we need to understand, it is used for anti-cancer property. I told us that every herb that are good for sugar 
uh, for diabetes is also good for cancer. Why? Because it helps in lowering the sugar supply to the cells of the cancer. And that is what you need. Three things. Lowering the sugar, supplying oxygen to the system, and boosting circulation of blood. And then cutting the supply of that ATP into the cancer cells. And the insulin plant is helping in that. It has anodine properties. Our research proves that the insulin plant has anodine property, which helps reduce the sensitivity of the nervous system. Uh, so we can use it for hypertensive, ch uh, hyperactive children, children with autoimmune diseases, uh, autism, and also children that are uh, having a problem with their nervous system, be it Parkinson's disease, multiple sclerosis, gay lyrex disease, or, uh, or uh, epilepsy. The pest of the insulin plant leaves is used to get better relief from pain. Uh, insulin plant, uh, the name of this herb is a reveal that insulin plants are most popular to treat diabetes by reducing the blood sugar levels effectively. The fructose present in the insulin plant leaves regulates the increased blood flow levels, high levels of blood sugar are very dangerous which can cause some organs to malfunction and also resist the nutrient flow in the body. What happens is that when sugar is high in your system, uh, the cells are not able to, uh, to actually participate in in and lock processes and the reception processes are lowered. They ideally shake because of high sugar levels. High sugar levels causes loss of memory. So should you take sugar in your system, you need to be highly uh, exercising and drinking a lot of water. Regular consumption of insulin leaves can avoid this healthy issue, health issues and also prevent chronic diseases. Usually taking one insulin plant leaves will effectively treat diabetes and it was proven by more than 15 clinical studies. Preparing decoction using the insulin leaves is the best way to treat diabetes. Boil a few insulin plant leaves for 10 minutes. Strain and drink that water two times per day to get good result. Here is a study to prove uh, the uses of insulin plants. Now, it is a natural prebiotic for better digestion. It uh, helps your good bacteria to thrive well and grow very well, very fast. It has high antioxidant properties, able to feed on free radicals within your system if you take the juice of it. And the goodness is that it is very, very tasty. It's very tasty. If you make a blend of it and put some ginger in it, it's a very tasty plant and natural juice to take in. And uh, it has antibacterial properties that we have discussed before. It helps maintain kidney health by flushing out the kidney stones. And it cures liver illnesses because of uh, uh, the geologic pro uh, Pathologic effects that is increasing the bile flow as well as uh, uh, helping the liver cells to lower the, the, the uh, to lower the, the fats that are stored in the liver. The insulin plant leaves have several vital components which help to break down the settlements of fatty acids in the liver and improves liver function. It maintains bladder health by increasing the diuresis process and uh, washing or cleansing out the system, the urinary system. It boosts immunity. It has antioxidant property which automatically encourages the immune system by eliminating the free radicals from the body. By having a well-maintained immune system, you can live a healthy lifestyle. You can start your day by drinking insulin plant leaves extract with honey, drinking it at least two times a day 
will slightly increase the immune system and protect your body from illness. It prevents cancer. Yes, uh, because of the phytochemicals that is in it that helps you to, uh, to slow the angiogenesis process. So that is what we have for our class today. I believe that you are blessed. Remember, the eight laws of health alongside being in a good environment, growing your own food, as well as ministering to others. Do not bring attention unto you. The Bible says that he is blessed who takes care of the poor because he lends to God. And God is a sure and a just God that, is, that will be able to give us good health. In Isaiah chapter 58, the Bible says that then shall your light go forth as the noonday and, and your health shall prosper. And when you pray, then shall the Lord hear your prayers. Do you want your prayers to be heard? Then start being a true Christian, a loving Christian, loving and lovable Christian. It's the argument, the greatest argument we can give unto the world. So God bless you.